If you want to find out if Ryzen 5 is going to be a good competitor in the mid-range market, then keep watching. Ryzen is a newly launched architecture from AMD that I'm sure you've heard of by now. It promises a premium gaming and content creation experience at a mid-range price. But is Ryzen 5 all unnecessary hype? This is Team Overclock and let's figure that out. Now Ryzen as an architecture has been going through issue after issue since the launch of the R7 processors. But AMD has gone through some major refinements lately and it's giving us some new hope for Ryzen 5. One of the major issues was the limitations on RAM compatibility. Many RAM kits couldn't reach their advertised XMP speeds which was a major drawback since Ryzen really benefits from RAM speed due to its infinity fabric. Recent BIOS updates have not only fixed this issue but have also improved the gaming performance of Ryzen. Refinements to the Ryzen architecture are going to be what makes or breaks Ryzen 5. Currently in gaming, Ryzen 5 is looking to be a bit limited despite its core count. Many people have simulated Ryzen 5 CPUs using their Ryzen 7 CPUs and it doesn't look too great. In most games, it's barely keeping up with the i5. AMD has stated that they are optimizing games for Ryzen. The recent Ashes of the Singularity Escalation update has bumped Ryzen frame rates by up to 30%, which is massive. Hopefully, AMD carries over this development to other titles. But when it comes to content creation and streaming, it's a different story. Cores are king on this side of PCs, and this definitely shows. The Ryzen 7 CPUs are matching or beating the higher priced Intel CPUs in editing and streaming. In the $170 to $250 price range, the main competitor to the Ryzen 5 series is going to be the 4 core and 4 thread i5 lineup. It should be pretty obvious by now that Ryzen 5 CPUs will annihilate the i5s in this category. The 4 core 12 thread CPU that's going to be the flagship for Ryzen 5 is going to be editing at speeds similar to the KB like i7s for $100 less and that's a great deal. Any content creator or streamer in the market is going to have no reason to go to Intel at least in the $170 to $250 price range. But let's get back to the main question. Is Ryzen 5 worth your hard earned money? For anybody looking to do any sort of editing or streaming, Ryzen is going to be your best bet. Although there are some sketchy performance issues, gaming on Ryzen is definitely playable and we are seeing FPS gains being made as games are optimized for Ryzen and as BIOS updates improve the microcode of the CPUs. The ultimate answer to whether or not Ryzen 5 is worth it is going to be revealed at launch on April 11th, so we will have to wait until then to get the final answer. Now before you leave, comment what you think of Ryzen 5 down below. It will be interesting to see what input you guys have on this topic. But anyways guys, that's all for today. If you liked the video, please be sure to overclock the like button. If you didn't like it, please dislike this video and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.